Welcome to the Shotokan Chronicles. In today's video, my picks for the top 20 Shotokan Karate books. Before we start, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. It only takes two seconds. Looking for some great workout apparel? Try the Great North apparel. Go to thegreatnorth.net, use the coupon code SHOTOKAN at checkout to get 30% off of your purchase. The Shotokan Chronicles shop is open for business. The, the link is in the description below. You can get your very own Shotokan Chronicles merchandise. I'm a major collector of martial art books. I currently have over 1,000 different books. A lot of them are digital, which is very convenient, but who doesn't love the feel and smell of an actual book? Now my collection includes many priceless books to me. I have several autographed editions of different books. So before I start, I want to thank at no name God 666 for the request to do this video. So I'm going to make a disclaimer to start because I know some people will say, hey, that's not 20 books. That's more than 20. Or that's not a Shotokan book. Yes, some of these books are, that I'm going to list are actually series or sets. And I felt that none was more important than the other in the set that they work together as this. Most of the books are Shotokan specific. There are some that I will list that will encompass the martial arts as a whole or karate as a whole. I am leaving lots of books out of this list and I know that some of you are going to say why didn't you include this book or that series? Remember I mentioned that I have over 1,000 martial art books. Everything from about Ki to Zen, the religion of, sa of the samurai. If I were to list every book that I thought was good, I would be here for days. Okay, so this list covers technical books, historical books, biographies, and more. I will try to include links to purchase the books in the description below, but some of these books are out of print and they might be hard to find. Number 20, the Shotokan Magazine. Okay, so I know this isn't a book or a series, technically. However, the Shotokan magazine is a great source of information and history. They constantly have interviews with notable karateka from around the world. The early issues are chock full of interviews with legendary Japanese masters. It, it is really easy to get these magazines. You can purchase back issues on CD. I have 139 issues on CD. You can order an updated disc with all 139. If you already have one of the discs, you can contact them and purchase 10 issue increments working from whatever the number that you have on disc. Number 19, Shotokan Karate, Traditional Karate for, the, for a Richer Life by Shihan Koyama. Now I wish I had a copy of this book when Master Koyama came here to the Maritimes in the mid 2000s. I would have got him to sign it. Nevertheless, this is an interesting book. It focuses more on improving your physical well-being. Um, it's chock full of different exercises to do to help improve the, your strength for your punches and kicks and uses a lot of exercise bands. Number 18, Shuha Ri, My Life in Japanese Karate by Shihan Frank Wanatai. Now this is a relatively new book. It's really good and I have done a review video and I'll put a link to that up above. This video covers Master Wanatai's life and the history of karate development in the, J, in the JKA the ISKF, and the introduction and development of the International Karate Daigaku. It shows the, the growth of karate in the Caribbean and Canada. It's chock full of great pictures. And I was honored to actually have been mentioned in the book for my work that I've done as the webmaster for the ISKF Canada in the past and currently as the webmaster for the International Karate Daigaku. Number 17. Mind and Body Like Bullet, Memoirs of a Life in the Martial Arts by Shihan Yaguchi. Much like the previous book, this is an autobiography. Mind and Body Like Bullet follows the life of Shihan Yutaka Yaguchi. We learn a lot about this great karate master and there's some wonderful stories. And the history behind some of them are amazing. And another book that I wish that when Master Yaguchi was here I got autographed. Pre Number 16, Practical Karate. The series by Shihan Nakayama. This is a series of book by, books by Master Nakayama. These cover application of karate techniques in a real world setting. By today's standards, some people may say these techniques are not really effective, but I still think that some of them are and they're beneficial. 
This series covers fundamentals, unarmed attackers, multiple attackers, armed attackers, and self-defense for women. Number 15, Shotokan Karate, Its History and Evolution by Randall Hassel. This is an awesome history of karate. There are a few books out there that are dedicated to the history of the art of self-defense, but I find that this is one of the better books. Number 14, Living the Martial Way, A Manual for the Way of the Modern Warrior by Sensei Morgan. Now, this is not Shotokan, but I still think it is a very important book. Broken into three sections, this book covers first, the way of training, the physical training, and how to choose a style and school, and how to adjust your training to meet your goals. The second, the way of honor, a variety of philosophical discussions. And the last section, the way of living, covers fitness, relationship between martial arts and religion, and the subject of mastery in the martial arts. Number 13, Bobushi, the classic manual of combat by Sheehan McCartney. Now, Sheehan Patrick McCartney is originally from New Brunswick, Canada. We are both from the same region of the country. Now, this book is the first English translation of the Babushi. The original Babushi is known as the Bible of Karate. The ver this version shows Sheehan McCartney's interpretations of the original text and I personally love the drawings. I believe that they're based on the original work. Number 12, Moving Zen, Karate as a Way to Gentleness by C.W. Nickel. So when I first seen this book, I was not interested in reading it at all. But as they say, you should never judge a book by its cover. Well, in this case, the title. I thought it was going to be a book about how Zen Buddhism is incorporated into the martial arts. That is far from what you'll get in Moving Zen. This is a story of a strange man, of a strange man in a strange land. C.W. Nickel travels to Japan to learn karate from the best in the world in the heyday of the Japan Karate Association. You get an inside look at what it was like to train at the JKA headquarters back in the early 1960s. Number 11, Shotokan Secrets, The Hidden Truth Behind Karate's Fighting Origins by Bruce Clayton. This is a great book. The first part of this book looks at history of karate. It explains a lot of things about language and culture that people may not think about when they're thinking about the development of karate. The second part of the book has some interesting interpretations of kata bunkai. Number 10, Karate do Kyohan by Shihan Funakoshi. Okay, so I expect I'm going to get some heat about where I ranked this book. Karate do Kyohan, also known as Toro no Maki, or Tiger Scroll, or the Master Scroll or Master Text. Now I've done a video about this and I'll put a link up above. This is an important book, but I ranked it a little lower because Karate has come a long way since this book was written. Number 9, Karate, The Complete Kata by Shihan Kanazawa. This book covers all the Shotokan kata. Each master has a different way of performing kata, and Master Kanazawa is no different. His versions of the kata are slightly different than those of the JKA, and ISKF, IKD, etc. Also, this book includes katas that are not in the Best Karate series by Master Nakayama, so it is a nice addition to the Best Karate series if you're JKA. Number eight, Karate, the Complete Kumite by Shihan Kanazawa. This is a complete review of sparring. Different types of sparring and techniques that will work to help you win a match. This book is full of pictures to help you visualize what is being explained throughout the book. Number seven, Karate Do, My Way of Life by Shihan Funakoshi. Another autobiography, this time the life of Geishin Funakoshi. This book covers Funakoshi's life as well as tell stories of his masters and other masters from Okinawan karate history. I suggest this book as a must read before testing for Shodan. It helps to put you into a different mindset, I find, and I've read this book probably about five times. It's like 110, 120 pages. You can probably read it in a couple days. Number six, Perfection of Character 
by Shihan Okazaki. Perfection of character is designed to help enlighten the minds of the reader. The first set of chapters are the Dojo-kun, followed by the Niju-kun. Master Okazaki translates each and explains his interpretations of the Niju-kun and Dojo-kun. He suggests reading a chapter a day and then go back and start again. I actually have two copies of this book. One was a gift from my instructors and is autographed by Master Okazaki. The second was a purchase that I had made before I was given the gift. This is one of my cherished books and I really enjoy reading this one as well. Number five, Best Karate, the series by Shihan Nakayama. This is the most comprehensive series of kata books. The first four books in this set cover comprehensive and fundamentals of karate. Then the next two books are on kumite. From Best Karate 5 up are kata books and I suggest Best Karate 5 for any Q rank student because it covers all of the heian katas and all of the teki katas. Each book goes through technical and fundamental of the katas and shows some application. The one thing you have to make sure that you pay attention to is the picture, English and Japanese because there are some mistakes in the images, text and translation. So you need to compare and figure out what is right and what is wrong. Also there's some little drawings at the bottom of each page which show you how your feet are actually supposed to be moving. Now after Best Karate 5 which has eight kata in it, each book after that has two or three. The only katas that are missing are Wankan and Jin. Number four, Karate Science, Dynamic Movement by Shihan Swanson. This is a really good book. It is well written and has lots of great information. I particularly like the, the sketches for the stances and other techniques, but I have found, however, this book is basically a loose copy of Okazaki's textbook of modern karate. Number three, Dynamic Karate by Shihan Nakayama. Another must have for a Shotokan karate student. This book is the predecessor for the next two books that I'm gonna list. I find that a lot of the information in this book was used over in the first few books of the Best Karate series. Number two, The Textbook of Modern Karate by Shihan Okazaki. This is one of the best technical books you're going to find. My copy of this book was personally autographed by Master Okazaki at a clinic and I cherish this book greatly. The book organizes karate techniques and helps to explain how each one is performed properly as well as it has some kata sections. He also mentions some physical training and there's a section on proper warm-up and plyometrics. Number one, Karate, the Art of Empty Hand Fighting by Shion Nishiyama. This is one of my favorite books. It is easy to read and has lots of great information for any karateka, including techniques, sparring, self-defense, throws, uh, self-defense from the floor, and much, much more. This is one of my main sources when I'm researching for the IKD Kenshusei program. Okay, so there's my top 20. Um, there are a lot of books left out, as I said, but here are a few honorable mentions. The Essence of Karate, The 20 Guiding Principles of Karate, and Karate do Nyoman by Shihan Funakoshi. Complete Shotokan Karate by Shihan Robin Riley. Advanced Shotokan Kata, the series, by Shihan Inoida, or the series of books by Shihan Yokota. You might have some differing opinions. Let me know what your top 20 Shotokan books are below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Train hard. See you next time right here on the Shotokan Chronicles.